Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome to another episode of BDSP, but I'm with Ryan and Storyboarding. Hello! So, off camera, I spent some time in Lacey on town getting uh, eggs ready to go. Uh, I don't think Ryan's done much off camera stuff. Besides, um, completing the entire game, I mean, oh crap, I shouldn't have said that, no. I had just been doing other stuff, completing a living decks in Pokemon Home. Fair enough. Okay, I have. A... And just now I caught a swine up with at green HP with one Pokeball. I feel accomplished. Nice job. I have a bit of a dilemma here. Who the heck do I use? Because I know I want to use uh, my Lucario and. Or not my Lucario, like, uh, a Lucario and a Cyndaquil or Typhlosion. So, that leaves the question of all the eggs I have, who do I, who do I bring to the table? <laughs> well, first I'm going to see if this egg actually has a Lucario in it. Turns out it's the sponsor. No, we don't have sponsors yet. Ugh. <sighs> It just hatches. Wait, random sponsor appears? Oh, also, I was writing last night. We have our first cut episode of the series. Of the Sinnoh series. Mm. And it's the Lost Tower. And the reason that episode was cut, there's nothing to do there. Doing something random and then a new trainer just fights you. What I find funny with like the whole trainer lore of you make eye contact with me, that means fight. Where's the consent part? Yeah. What happens if I was on my way to a funeral? That would be so dark. Not now! I have to make it to my Pokemon funeral! Battle time! Fuck you! Yeah. Oh. Yeah, real quick, Ryan, I think you're gonna be mad at me when you read the next episode. Um, my Pokemon better not be dead. No, that didn't happen. Okay. However, yes. there what happened? is a lot of Okay, I'll briefly summarize the episode. So, basically, uh, the group meets up with Professor Rowan. And he's like, okay, I have a briefcase full of random evolution items. Here, everybody, take one. And Void's like, ooh, I want a Razor Fang. And Professor Rowan's like, so I don't have a Razor Fang. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. So Professor Rowan's Ooh. just like, actually, so because of that, I'll, um, I'll let you pick mm -hmm. two items. And Void gets the Electrizer and a Razor Claw. Oh, nice. So hey. he, he hey. actually instantly evolves his Electivire, his Electabuzz into Electivire, but Kylie's like, so I need to keep this for a gym battle. That cool? So Void currently has Rhyperior on his team. And nice. He'll, he'll, get, he'll get Electivire back later. Also, I don't know if this... And never mind, I was gonna be like, maybe like a little plot twist, but no, I like how my character's going so far. I was thinking maybe where my character could try and collect a lot of Pokedex entries, but I'm like, nah, I like how my character's just gym battles and friendship. Yeah, it's... I don't know how they wrote a character like that for Journeys. I, because it, that's... I found a much chop. I'm tempted to just catch it and then on my main RCS save file, use the link cable and evolve it. But then another thing is, is I'm hunting for... Because I want to have a... 
it seems like with my team so far, the only Pokemon that I've had that is actually from this region, like it was, its debut was in this region, is my Monferno. I have a Murkrow and Swinub, which are both from Johto, but evolve in this game, in this generation. Well, it doesn't... Yeah. It's just a weird thing for me where I don't want to be like, I want to use Pokemon that aren't from this game, or that aren't from this region. Well, I, I've been fine with doing that, because I, I plan on hatching a Cyndaquil. Which apparently takes a lot of... What's Cyndaquil's egg cycle? I'm gonna look this up. Cyndaquil. Come on, database. Um... Where's that? Oh my god, 4,884 steps minimum. I gotta get your cardio in today. Well, I am glad I brought donuts with me. Team. Yeah, because I'm still think wondering about what team I want to use. Because definitely it's I want to use uh, Mammoth Swine because I want to use t a a team that I didn't use for my first playthrough of Brilliant Diamond. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, my first team that I used, have I said what my first team was on this channel yet, or no? No. My first team I used was an Empoleon, because I was like, everyone's probably going to be picking, unless someone has like a very close attachment to, to the Piplup line, I feel like a lot of people are going to pick the other two, which it will be like, um... Infernape and Infernape and Torterra. I was like, I want to choose Empoleon. Fair enough. And then along my way, I chose. I got um, the fossil um, Kranidos. I got pretty fun. Ro yeah. Roserade. Okay. Now I'm trying to actually remember what the rest of my team is, off the top of my head. As you're playing so many Pokemon games, you forget which team they, you've used. They kind of blur together. Certain team, there's one team that I can't, or a couple teams that I can't remember for the life of me. I do remember there's... what my first whole team of Pokemon is. Sorry, so another Pokemon I also want to use is I want to use a Magnezone, because I've never used one before. They are so but then, fun. But then I think I'm going to have to get rid of either Macho, not Macho, uh, Murkrow or Swinub, which I think I would be okay with getting rid of Honchkrow. Why would you need to get rid of them? Because then I would have three Pokemon that... It's like I said, it's a weird thing for me where it's, I like to use a mix... I like to use a mixture. I don't like to have a lot of the same, like, because all of them have the in common of they, their pre evos are from a different generation. Well, Magnezone are so they're so fun to use. I used one in my first playthrough of any Pokemon game, and I also used one in the Auras No. Uh, or the only normal type moves in Auras playthrough. And it was incredibly oh. useful. I have. So, I've been at points, I was like, by myself, I would be thinking of like, teams that, that people would use from like the Pokemon universe. Kogita. It's tech, Kogita is a relative of Cynthia, or is a descendant of Cynthia, right? Or is it like Cynthia Bloodline? I don't know. There's a lot of theories that Kokita is just Cynthia herself. I don't see those matching up, but hey, they're out there. I've had, I've at times made like what I think her team would be if, oh, there's a Gligar. I had to use Gligar. 
and hit them. But, um, what her team would be. And I've come up with this team. For the... Sorry, I get distracted because I did the weird thing where in the underground, they'll try and, uh, like, encounter you, the Pokemon, but get to a certain situation where it's just circling around me. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's always just hilarious to me. But the team I made for Kogita was um, Enamorous, the... Um, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. And, oh, acrobatics, that's killing my Saiyan. Okay, my Syndicate okay, will catch. Why won't the stupid other egg hatch? I've done 5,000 steps. How many steps does it take for Riolu again? I think it might be like 9,000 or something. I don't, I honestly don't know. Riolu. After, if I, no matter what, if I catch or die from this Gligar, I'm going back to the story. Well, I guess I'm going back to the story. Riolu is 6,169. Nice. Uh, steps minimum. <laughs> Dang, you beat me. I think I said. It's okay. I think I said Rhydon I, I earlier, lost. and not, neither of us said these nuts. I am leaving the caves or the mines or something, whatever, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm still in Fort Roma Town, I think. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Let's see. Uh, you need to go... Oh man, I'm very ahead of you. I went through... You have to go through Heartcomb and Salation Town. Forget that. So yeah, you just continue hatching all of your eggs. Yeah, you, you get a chance to catch up today. My child. I patched my child. Child, no. Yeah, because I traveled back to get honey. Ooh. Ah, it's a pink shell. I'll catch it for right now. I need it for my decks. Plus, having a water type's good. Alright. So I plan on having three eggs now, and then maybe taking three more later. So... Okay, I'm torn between Gibble and Turtwig. I would, like, part of me is like, oh yeah, definitely pick Gibble, since that is literally the pseudo-legend of the, god darn it, you stupid hiker. Like I was saying, the pseudo-legend of the region, but Turtwig, it's another starter. Yeah. I could also go unconventional and use an Electabuzz for Electifier, but that's that's not fun, so... You know what, I'll take this EV egg. No, I'll do that later, I'll do that later. Uh, cause I wanna- Are I wanna you still young in this game? I, don't, I feel like we had this conversation. Is Sylveon in this game? At first I thought yes. Now I'm thinking what? You know what? I'm gonna check. I so it feels check like right in one instance it's like where yes, fairy types is in this generation. Sylveon and no other other like generation Pokemon are in here. Uh, yeah, I'm checking on Pokemon database. Gen 8. 
Why are there I'm battling every hiker and camper in the city? It's, it's not. Or no. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm thinking maybe I'll use a Glaceon. I, dude, I, 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 I plan on using Glaceon later in the game. Well, but I guess I'll be either using Leafeon or some other evolution. You know what? I'm gonna go with Gibble because I am a low self-esteem dragon. I need a dragon type. All right. So Gibble, I checked its egg cycle a while ago. It has an egg cycle of around 10,000 steps. You're definitely getting your cardio in today. Oh yeah, 100%. I don't know if I even went to this area yet because every single trainer has wanted to battle me. I mean, money, yes, but also let me progress. I like money. Jack like money. And part of me is thinking maybe not using a glide score since I've used it on basically every single team for like I used it in the DLC for both DLCs for um Scarlet and Violet. I used it on my first team for this game. So I think maybe change it up a little bit. Here's what I have to say about that. No. Yeah, probably not. What am I saying? I love that score. I've used Lucario on like four play, four of my five playthroughs of BDSP. Mostly yeah, but I feel like right now the only way for me to get it is get it from Legends Arceus and just transfer it up here. Also, if you guys are wondering what that fourth playthrough was, um or what one of those playthroughs was. Uh, I did the first playthrough on YouTube. I did a second playthrough for Team Aura. I did a third playthrough. What was that? Oh yeah, that was a practice run for my Nuzlocke. And now I'm doing this. Oh yeah, uh... About Gligar evolving in the in the series. Don't worry, Ryan. It will soon. It will soon. Please, I need my child. You need your son to evolve into a beautiful blue and yellow, uh, awesome gliding thing. What is Gligar based off of? It's like a scorpion bird. It look. It's. it's did you say bird? <laughs> Sir. Yes. It is obviously a bat. Birds. This bats, man just said fly. bird. They both fly. They're both. Are birds classified as mammals? No, right? This they man feathers, is asking not you the fur. questions that I ask myself all the time. They have feathers, not fur, right? Like, so they wouldn't be mammals. Yes, feathers. It could just as easily also, look now this I'm, up. Now I'm getting myself a bike. Nice. You can join me on the egg catching crap that I'm doing. You know what? I, If anything, I might just get myself an egg of Gliscor. Just like transfer myself a Gliscor, get an egg. <laughs> egg. Wow, this place is selling heel balls. Useless. Oh, I hate how pseudo legendaries have such big egg, egg cycles. Ten, like this well, is over. Well, they're ten pseudo legendaries for a reason, so they're not gonna make it like a easy. Here you go. Wait, what? Why is this hatching? Why are you birthing? <laughs> this this feels early. It was a Togepi in the egg. You know what? I was thinking about using a Togepi. I think that's a sign. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna move on. All right. So the reason I only decided to bring three eggs is because I have some strong Pokemon on the team already. And I was like, what if I can't? 
want something else later. Like, I gotta use the stuff later. Still there, Ryan? Yeah, I'm here. Alright. Sorry, I am just focusing on catching up now. I like how we say catch up as if it's a race. Well, catch up so it's not like I'm five gyms behind you. Yeah, fair enough. I need to get all the new Pokemon from experience. What the hell? This Riolu has Meteor Mash. Maybe it's Egg Move? Probably. Um, forget Endure um, for Metal Claw. Wow, I can't believe okay. that happened. <laughs> I'm encountering every single encounter in this cave. Are you in Mount Coronet right now? I think so. Oh, brother, you are behind. Dude, I said I just got my bike. I'm gonna hatch that Eevee. Uh, around Snow Point Gym, that way it'll actually evolve into a Glaceon. Wait, it's do, where do I get strength? God, where am you get strength? GPS, at, where the hell do I go? You get strength at the top of Lost Power, but it's not usable as an HM until much later. Do I have an escape rope to escape this? No. I don't. I don't. I don't think I do. Yes, I, I do. I have one. I spin out of this cave. I just remembered where I got the ditto. It was from my six month series. So it hatched like 50 eggs. So all my Pokemon are going to have like 50 egg moves. Oh. I think. I don't know how egg moves work. Random Badoo, help me. All right. You know, fighting these trainers is a good chance for all these Pokemon to get experience. So that's good. That's good for me. Yeah, that's good. I'm hoping I won't plan to get a blue shellow so I can have the cooler one. Yeah, but I'm just having this other shellow in my and I'm just having this other shell in my party to gain XP to evolve. Pokemon are getting so much XP. That way, because Riolu is a Riolu and Toki are friendship evo Oh, they're friendship yeah. evolutions. Oh shit! Why do 
really make friendship so hard in Pokemon? Why is friendship a thing? Actually, no, that makes sense. Friendship being a thing makes sense. Why is it so hard? My oh, nice. will have um, double edge as an egg move. That's overpowered. This syn the syndicate? Yeah. I think that's pretty overpowered, in my opinion. This is my humble opinion. That's pretty overpowered. I'm on, I'm on cycling road now. Alright. And also, since I saw, I think I caught 42, or I have 42 dex entries, I think is what, I don't know honestly what it is, but something about 42 Pokemon, I got a rare candy, so now I'm up to three. Saving them for Pokemon like the Swine Nub to use, to use it on when it gets ancient power as a Pile of Swine. I don't know why I tried going around that trainer. I really should be fighting them. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Murder, murder, murder. John Ralphio? Alright. Program has anticipation instead of dry skin if it had that ever. So I can take bubble beam. Shakes. <clears throat> Does every I've run into two trainers who had intimidate Pokemon. Also, how is Shinx intimidating? I understand Legends Arceus because they want to kill you, but why Shinx in this game? Because like it's Rux, adorable Luxray. and you don't want to fight it. So you're anything, intimidated by Luxia. yourself. intimidated by yourself because you even considered hurting such an innocent soul. Shame on you, yeah. Ryan. Alright, anyway, I'm fighting Machop right now. And it's dead. I was praying that I would have some sort of paralyzed heal, and I do, I had one. And I've run into every single site, these three cyclists. I am sad. My I mean, is XP, evolving. yes. Already? Yeah. I've been fighting trainers. All right, I got a Kulava. Cyclist James. Wait, he has the hair of James from from the anime. <gasps> yeah, he's rocket. I avoided one one trainer to run into another one. This it just started. Ponyta just did like one damage with flame charge because we're in the rain. Oh. Come on, get its health down. I want to be able to catch it so that I can do post game things later. Wait, with the um, Ponyta? No, I just want to do post game stuff. So How many entries? I don't know. Well, it doesn't require entry dex entries. It just requires you to unlock the national decks. Oh, so you're just at least hoping to see them all. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're doing that, um, like I said, there's a. I would say I forgot which one, but once you make it to Fantina, just get every single one of her questions wrong. 
because one of the people have a have um Drifloon, which unless you it's the only random encounter Drifloon you can find, besides the one you have to wait till Friday to see. Okay. That's such a specific requirement. You have to see every Pokemon. I don't even do that in most of my playthroughs normally. That's better than having to catch them all. Well, to be fair, in this game you could do that in 24 hours, as small lands prove pretty easily. 24 hours, if you don't want to do anything else in the meantime. No, no that small is land, definitely he, an accomplishment. He, he got that, like, small land. I think I've told you, I have a fear of small land. I still watch his videos, but I am terrified of Batman. Because he he has way too much dedication. Yeah, wasn't he like the one that that made a whole video of just of just like no damage? Yes. He beat Platinum without taking damage, Ryan. He's terrifying. He didn't take damage against Cynthia. Like, like. Who the, who the heck is that dedicated? He sp he literally, in that video, he said, and now it was just a simple eight hours of moving up and down. I got tired of doing that just now. What the hell is eight hours of that like? Yeah, no, small ant scares me. Um... Anyway, different topic. Oh yeah, what I was saying. Yeah, he he got he got a um, 100% completion of the uh, regional decks the first day the game came out. Jesus, that man has too much dedication. In him. It's it's insane. I'm fighting the two trainers, the two campers right now. XP time, baby! Alright, cool. I feel like Gust should be a multi-hitting move. It's not a multi-hit move? Nope. Why? Like, that's... It's literally just wind. Please use Park Juicy doesn't have static, and I get stacked because I've been stacked by every single Pokemon ever. Okay, thank you. Like, Leer is a multi-hit move. That just hit both my Pokemon, and it was really annoying. Unacceptable! I'm thinking about having ramen for lunch. Ooh, that sounds good. And not like... I'm not saying it's crappy, it's just I've somehow got a little bit sick of like the um, American version of the ramen. Like the chicken broth, it's just all it is is just the noodles and the broth. My parents have been getting a very like... It's a cool... It's like a very nice one because it's... It's like the chicken broth, but it adds like dried vegetables to it, so it tastes really good. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't want to battle this. Oh, I guess he turned because he says, no way you're battling me. Just haha, it is I. I. Yeah. <laughs> So wait, how far are you now? Uh, I'm nearly at the fourth gym. Fourth gym? Crap. I mean the third gym. How are you at the fourth gym? What? I said third. 
I got confused because uh, anime series has avoided taking on this gym for. Don't you just love it when you get critical hits when the Pokemon is at one HP? Yeah, that's just that's just the best feeling ever. It's the best feeling that your luck said you're not getting the crit to kill it, but we'll give you the crit to um kill it even more than it is already dead. It's called spiteful luck. It's the worst thing ever. Bronzor. Huzzah, Veilstone City. So, I can heal my Pokemon by TMs, but more importantly, I can change my outfit. <laughs> Sorry, I just love the, can buy TMs, buy potions, buy Pokeballs, but, <laughs> clothes change. I have the ability to change outfits, that's better than anything else in the world. Also, so I recently watched an, an MNJ TV video where he picked out like the um his elite four what would your elite four be uh uh that's a good question i'd have to go oh, with God, flint I, I have to have flint on there sure the guy that's the fire specialist right yeah with so much fire types on his team. Okay. Also, I think, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to get him a chop on my team. Or Machamp. I like Machamp a lot, and I've never used it before. All right, I've changed my outfit. Outfits in this game are expensive, dude. Clothes in general are expensive. Yeah, but, but this I is, love the. This was like thirty thousand Poke dollars, and it was like yeah, the cheapest I love, one. I love Pokemon logic, where like a Pokeball is a hundred dollars. I could buy candy for less than that. Well, it's it's based off Japanese yen which actually accumulates to a lot less. Like the bike was like a million Poké Dollars. If you, um, if you translate that over to, from Japanese yen, it's a lot cheaper than you think. Um, like it's like a million Poké Dollars was translating to around 8,000. Uh, U.S. dollars, so that's a neat. Ah. You've learned a thing. Knowledge. I didn't mean to just buy 20 Ultra Balls, but I did. Whoops. I met the puny Cyrus now. Met little tiny baby Cyrus. Good job. Anyway, I'm gonna go keep fighting some trainers on the next route before I take on the gym. Because you are behind and I want to level up my Pokemon. Yes, please. Also, there's something else I wanted to talk about. I plan on doing a contest thing for Dawn pretty soon called the Fantina Tournament, where basically Fantina set up this big conference, or conference, this big contest, uh, where people can just come by. So May's gonna come by Sinnoh, and she's gonna participate. Dawn's gonna win, but I, I'm going to make it so that we're not happy about that. We're, we're gonna be sad that May lost. That's fair. That, that's what I plan on doing. Not happy that Dawn won, sad that May lost. Maybe it's a bit of both. We could do that. Yeah, it's gonna be- Because both are friends, very, right? It's gonna be very bittersweet no matter what, because 
Like, we're happy she's... that our friend won, but we're also happy, also sad that our friend also lost. Yeah. Yeah, I have ideas on how to start it so uh, it hits more like May is the protagonist here. Just like you're the contest protagonist, not today. You thought you had the, you were the main character. How foolish you were! I am the main character. Well, if you're the main character, you don't have much plot armor. Yeah, I don't have plot armor. I probably... No, my character got some of that treatment recently. Uh, I told you about how he had Togetic use metronome it just exploded. Uh, just like, alright, the only way we win this is with dumb luck. Metronome. Boom. Mango is to blow up. It's like that purple clip, clip that I showed you. Like, I have a magic arm! And it knows only explosion! Explosion! Yeah. That clip makes me laugh. I find it hilarious. It brings a smile to my face. I am not getting KO'd by a mischievous. Fuck. You got KO'd by a mischievous. I got beaten by a mischievous. Help. But this thing is my mortal enemy now. Aside from Blissey, I don't like Blissey. I know, I know who you are, but I will find you, and I will kill you. Yeah, Blissey's not a Pokemon I like, just because of the I... competitive strats with it that I got hit with back in the day. Back uh, in my day. They made a battle last for 90 turns. And I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, does this mean I have to change the outfit I gave Nick the Wolf? I think it does. Okay, next thumbnail he'll have a different outfit on. Nice. Something else I wanted to mention. The only... Even though the thumbnail does significantly, like, change how many views this series gets. I do personally prefer the drawn thumbnails because I just have the time to draw them. Nice. Also, I have my co-star, my cat, next to me now. Nice. So if you, if, I don't know if the meowing will go through, but if it does, it's because she just wants pets. And I'm while doing battles, petting her head. It's very... it's... it's, it's adorable. Alright. Wait, I missed the guy that, that gives, like, the odd keystone. Don't say a word, just take it... Ah. Uh... uh, I need to... hang on. I need to see. Do I have strength? In my bag. I do. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I panicked for a moment. Hey, yeah, I'm at the, um, I'm at the, um, uh, what's this city called again? Our home. Oh, uh, hard home. Hard home. Is it the one with the big contest hall in it? Yeah. yeah Where are you right you're now? Hard home. So you're about halfway to halfway to me. Come 
on. Can you stop hitting yourself in confusion? You are a water type. Do not lose to a Goldeen. Crimplup, I swear to God, if you lose to this thing, I you will be dead to me. Thank you for snapping out of your confusion and killing this thing. That would have been so embarrassing to have happened on camera. Ugh. He's got another Goldeen, are you kidding me? Why? Why would you do this? So why not? Question! Oh god! What? Yeah. Still fine. Still fine. I'm still standing. Fine. I'm still standing. Aha! You've been hit with supersonic only has 50% accuracy. Why would you have three Goldeens? Is this a fisherman? No, he's just a guy. He looks like a guy who belongs in some sort of murder mystery movie. He's a very dapper gentleman. I... One thing, so I just got the tuxedo. I wish I could wear this outside of the contest hall. Yeah. It looks so cool. I think Dawn's looks like really, really nice. And I, I kind of want to just wear that. I just want to wear that around. How do you unlock the ability to battle the gym? Uh, the hard home gym is not fightable yet. You have to get like oh. or bad. Yeah, yeah, it's the fifth gym technically. I had our characters uh -oh. fight it because why not? Well, I'm just going to the um Amity Square right now. Yeah, I should have done that. I'll do that when I go back. I think there's actually some items you can obtain here. to have a Pokemon block. Let's go. I just got the amulet coin. Money's going to be rolling in now. And I got the spooky plate. That is the work. The fairy plate would have been better to be here. Well, I don't know if that would be in the game. Technically, because there are fairy types. I mean, yeah. And I got TM45 attract. Tell me if Find a uh, suit bell. Because then I will go back. I will be going back there. I Tam really 40 that. Tam 43 volt switch, and I think that's all that there was there. Where is the suit bell? Hang on. Do I have to do one of the contests? Uh, no. If you're still trying to figure out how to get to the heart home gym, you don't have to do a contest, you just have to get more badges. 
No, I know that. I just it's it's telling me to explore part home. Um yeah, you basically have to go to the uh go down to the bottom and then try to leave to the right and Barry's gonna oh, fight you. Well, I Really? Let me guess you just got to fighting Barry. Yeah. Weird coincidence, am I right? Or am I right? I just Startled. Now realized I forgot to check out the Laceon ruins. Can you do anything there right now? I don't know, but I've not actually gone to the Laceon ruins ever. So I, I like tried I to in my other in my other playthrough. In like my other save file, but I think I'm gonna save it for this one so I can Catch in a Pokeball with the Void OT. The other one has my name as the OT. Alright. Primplop. Oh, he has the stickers on it. I never knew that. I should play with all capsules. I just don't know what to do with them right now. What stickers do I have? I'll give one to Riolu. Place stickers. Um. Ooh, I got I got a blue fire sticker. Live, live on one. Oh, saying didn't live on one. Disappointment! Uh, there. Let's preview this. I think I might get wiped by Barry. You might get wiped by Barry? Oh yeah, that's cooler. All right. Well, no, I, I have two you... weasels on my. I have two weasels on my team that, will that both have quick attack. That yeah. I just have to level up. Oh gosh, dark. it was grass nut. Weasel. No. The Primplop. I have two Pokemon left. The second Buizel that I'm leveling up. And the sh the Pink Shellos. Why and the can sad part is learn Grass Knot? Why is that a thing? <laughs> and it's switching into Roselia. No, I, I wipe. Why is Sinnoh formatted so weirdly? Why is... Sinnoh, I love it. I love everything about it. I hate Pokemon sometimes with Sinnoh. Do I have somehow just a random revive? Barry, I did not consent to this battle. Okay, south of Parkham. Got it. That's where I'll find the Wait, is later. Barry... Yeah, my mud slap from my shells did nothing. I I don't win. Honestly, I might have to bring out my Jirashi from the box just so I can get past this bet. Doom desire this poor soul who has disrespected no, our Lord Doom and desire Savior, can... Badoom. Yes. Gosh, I I lost. I'm sad. <laughs>
go, dude. Alright, trim pluck. Kill it with water. Kill it! Kill it with water! They say kill it with fire, but kill it with water instead. Kill it with water. Damn it, it has sturdy. You know what? I'm bringing out my Rosalia. I don't care. I need just to get... Like, with these battles, I like just to grab a Pokemon that I have that's powerful and then just kill them and then just get put them back in the box. Fair enough. All right. Barry, I did not consent to this battle. Barry, I will call the police. Barry, stop it. Barry, no. Damn it, Barry. Barry, I will shove you back in a tree. All right. I am going to put Riolu in the front of the team. I'm going to be very naughty. I'm toxic spiking. I am being a dirty bastard. Oh, it used pluck. It did nothing. I'm putting up two layers of toxic spikes. It's going to die. I love toxic spikes. Three layers of toxic spikes. Oh, I guess you can't put up three you layers. You can't put up three layers, yeah. Okay, it's Lucas. I forgot I named myself Wolf. You got that dog in you. <laughs> Please laugh, I need some sort of... I don't know, that's... Why was double team and minimize a thing? Why did Game Freak think, you know what, we should just make this annoying move that makes it so you will basically never hit them? I don't know, I thought it would be fun. I missed three times in a row. Four it's times in a this. row. <laughs> it's another. I don't have any. Well, then, uh, not much to do. Are you kidding me? Level 26. This gym is at level 26. I wanted to get Riolu some XP, but Jesus. So, wait, what gym are you at now? I'm at the Veilstone gym. Is that Crash or Wake? No, that's, um, that's Maylene. That's Girl with Dude, Lucario. Dude, how many- I killed his Starly the first time, and now he's like, now I'm not gonna let you kill it. Finally, I hit it, now die. It didn't die, I'm sad now. Dang, Barry with his Starlies. It used Endeavor. I'll show you something wicked too. You already did. This is how it you had to use double team. Can destroy, a, destroy a level 100 <laughs> Mewtwo. Step one, focus sash. Step two, do take damage. Step three, live. Step four, endeavor. Step five, quick attack and kill. Step five, destroy. destroy. Crumple up is like, why do I feel spikes in my feet and why am I now slowly decaying? Staravia, I'm going to be heavily relying on you throughout this entire gym. Do not expect anyone else to do damage. Until we get to Lucario, at which point I have no idea what I'm going to do. I might, I might just have to level up the lava. <laughs> or Riolu. Riolu could take a Lucario. I've done it before. Actually, I, this is fun. I've, I once did a battle where I defeated two Lucarios in a row with just Riolu. I did. I beat a gym with a Pikachu. 
Or no, not the Elite Four with a Pikachu. Is this in Let's Go Pikachu? Yes, which isn't that significant since the Pikachu got roids. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu is, got some serious, like, enhancements since, yeah. uh... Not, not only does it get, like, the candies that power it up, it also has the benefit of it just is, in general, stronger. Yeah. It just got stat buffs. I, I think it was a pretty significant buff, too. It was almost like 500. Maybe do you want to... So after I get be very... How long would it take for me to get to the gym? Um... Like 30 minutes. Maybe then... 30 minutes? Yeah, maybe. No, it's like the second gym area. You're saying 30 minutes? To get to where I am now? Yeah, around there. Maybe. Maybe 15 maybe. minutes. Maybe once I get to the gym, we call it then? We yeah. call the video? Yeah, probably. Since you kind of did what you want to do, which is get a lot of your eggs. I got three Pokemon on my team. Toki, Riolu. Uh, I'll just research the Laceon Ruins. I'm not actually going to go back there now. Once I get Fly, maybe. Also, actually, I learned there is a way to get cast form in this game. Uh, Ow! It's like a post-game thing. You need to oh, go to this one sense. location with certain Pokemon in your Pokedex. Blah, blah, blah. You get cast form as an encounter. Would we be, would we be doing the post-game? I am still undecided on that. Because maybe we do like a little bit of the post-game. And then we do like a battle. Yeah. I want to see what Stark Mountain is all about. That's where Heatmore is. If you're if you're not willing to do that with me, I'll just do it on my own. It, like that would that would be fine. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that's where Heatmore is. I'm just yeah. I'm just exclaiming that. Yeah, I knew that. I also knew it was the only place to get the heat plate during my first playthrough, and I really wanted that for my Infernape. Time to switch. So what do I have? Ooh! I didn't know this before, but my Machop has guts. That's, that's, that's a pretty powerful ability. Yeah. Doesn't that like it I'm doubles your attack, right? I'm definitely keeping the chop to... Huh? It doubles your attack when you get a status condition, right? Yes, so if I find something like a flame orb, I am set. Yeah, not a flame orb. You might want a toxic orb. No, doesn't flame orb, like, the flame doesn't do anything then? Well, the burn would lower your physical attack. So you'd be doing the same amount of damage. I am walking with my Machop now. Holy crap, you're slow, Machop. Yeah, the Pokemon in this game are just too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow! Wait, I think I've met, I passed the guy that gives me, like, an egg. Or not an egg, like the, um, Oval Stone. Oh no, he does give me an egg. I think this is the Blissey, or the... Is not the Blissey egg. egg, it's like... Yeah, I'm definitely taking. I'm taking half Eeny. I want half Eeny. I want Blissey. Since it's on my team. It's on your Johto team. Yes. My mortal enemy is Blissey because of Pokemon Showdown.
if I do off camera stuff this time around, it's gonna be grinding. Like, probably for me too. I need to level up some of these egg Pokemon, like Togepi and Riolu and Quilava. You know what, just now I thought about putting in a bomb of snow on my team. Hey. Now I want to put a frostless on my team. Oh. It's reminding me of. Frick. Frostless? That would actually be pretty overpowered. Because it gets like snow but then again. or some crap. Meaning you could use that against Garchomp and it would be really overpowered. Alright, Riolu versus Craniados. Let's do this. Meteor Mash. This hiker I'm fighting is just like, what the hell? What the hell? How does a Riolu have that? <laughs> How does a level 22 Riolu have Meteor Mash? Yeah. Because he's my little boy, that's how. If you were a trainer class, which one would you be? Uh, like youngster or breeder. Army thinks breeder since not because of like the whole egg situation, but Ryolu, like the only other way to get that is through an egg. Yeah. Like, or at least in this game it is. Yeah, I'd, I'd say breeder, yeah. I be. I feel like the only reason why youngster would work for me is I'm not that young, so that's why it wouldn't work, but if I was younger, youngster would be my thing. What would be my... I'd have to cross out any of, like, the female ones, like, the miss... or, like, schoolgirl because I identify as male. Otherwise, I would have to wear a dress, and me would rather not. I must encounter. I'm doing big brain plays right now. I'm skipping a double trainer bell because I think I need two Pokemon to activate it. Let's go get wrecked. Riolu, please don't die. Riolu, please don't die. Hit your Meteor Mash. Yes. Damn it, Geodude, why don't you die? Why won't you die? I'm just gonna use Rock Smash. Wait, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Fuck. Uh, friendship is hard. I can't build up friendship with my Pokemon. This is this is gonna. Okay, why is it most of the baby Pokemon evolve through friendship? Because that requires you to win a lot of battles. Like, why? Why do they do this? Can we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a lot of grinding. Um, I'm in Felicia Town. You're in Salacion Town? Yeah. Alright. Do you want me to make it to the next gym, or do you want to maybe call it here? Um... Or maybe off camera, I just try and make it to the gym myself. If you just make it to the gym off camera, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. we can call it here. Okie dokie. 
So yeah, guys, off camera, Ryan and I are going to do just a little bit of grinding. Uh, just a little bit, completes game. <laughs> we're gonna get here. We're gonna level up a little bit so that we can take on the gym. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed it, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, share this video with everyone you know and love, and we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye, guys.